So this is basically how the city sewer connection looks like. We've got a cap that's basically at the uh, point of the property line. If we open the cap up, you're gonna see inside that everything leads out into the sewer. Close that cap off. We've already excavated down about four feet. And so this is how the city sewer connection looks like. So basically we're running this eight inch uh, SDR pipe, which then connects into a four inch um, service here to the home. And basically this is a plug. So that way when we connect, we just remove this plug and then we insert our SDR 28 pipe in there. Uh, we'll have a clean out here as well up to the surface just to be sure that um, anything that gets potentially blocked in this particular area will have easy access to a clean out. Okay, so now we've removed the plug and there's uh, basically two parts to this plug. There's this insertion which keeps any uh, backflow coming uh, back to the home and any uh, flow going into the sewage system. And so this is a little bit tricky to remove. So we've had, we had to go up the shaft to get a hold of this because it was inserted from the inside out, plugging the entry port going into the sewer. So this was a little tricky to remove, remove the uh, plug. So basically this section was inside this uh, eight inch um, SDR and it uh, sat basically like this. And then the plug basically connected like that, plugging everything off from either coming back, backflowing into the property and also preventing anybody from, of course, uh, leading into the sewer without a proper connection. So our next order of business is just to finish the tie-in and then uh, we'll get everything set up. As we already tie everything in from the home, leading out the main line here. Travel down slope with our piping. So now we finished connecting to the city sewer. So this main line leads all the way to the home. Now we just have to finish bedding it with sand. And there's our sewer connection. So what we're doing now is we're just making sure that uh, we're testing the lines, ensuring there's no leakage, ensure everything's flowing properly. There's our hookup to the city sewer. We've got our clean up port. You can hear the flowing going in. Everything seems to be running quite well. So part of the process of separating from a septic system is decommissioning the septic tank. So all we do is backfill just with some sand, stuff it in on all corners, and just make sure that all the void space is occupied by the sand. That way there's no potential of this uh, septic tank caving in and causing anybody any harm. So to charge the lines here for inspection, what we do is we have this bladder here. So we just slide that bladder in and we pump it up. We pump the pressure up so that bladder then fills up and holds the water back. So that way when the uh, municipal inspector comes by, he'll see that the line is charged and he wants to see the bladder released and the water flow in through to the, um, to the sewer. So that's how they inspect and that's how we hold back the water is with this bladder. <laughs> 